please subscribe. The 2018 Land Rover Discovery begs to explore. Beyond the literal meaning, the big SUV that was rebooted last year is impressively spacious, capable, composed, and somewhat inconspicuous. It carries over essentially unchanged from last year's new model, and earns an impressive 7.4 overall. Fuel economy is always going to hold back a 5,000 pound SUV, but it excels in comfort and performance. The Discovery S profile will be foreign to people familiar with the nameplate. Land Rover ditched a brick in the wind shape of earlier generations for a smoother shape that cuts a cleaner hole through the air. It reads nearly bulbous in photos, but in person, nose to nose, the disco is still as big as it has ever been. We bemoan the lost Alpine windows and tail-mounted spares of yesteryear, but will willingly trade both for this vehicle's impressive off-road prowess. One historical note, that Discovery name disappeared here in the US after the 2004 model year, when it was replaced by the LR3 and subsequently the LR4. But those two boxy utes were badged as discoveries elsewhere, so the name only took a vacation from us. Under the hoods of most new Discovery models will be a capable and powerful 3.0-liter turbocharged V6 that asks for premium unleaded. It smoothly delivers 340 horsepower, which is enough for highway passing, but requires more attention and a little heavier feet off-road than we were expecting. An optional turbozole V6 solves that dilemma for us. It has prolific 443 pound-feet of pull comes on song much earlier in the rev range, and it returns marginally better fuel economy. It has $2,000 dearer than the gas engine, but we do recommend most buyers consider the oil burner, it has quieter, stronger, and smarter. Like anything with a Land Rover badge, the new Discovery comes at a premium. Base models start at around $51,000, but HSE luxury trim Discovery SUVs can sum at $80,000 almost as easily as they can ascend the nearest mountain. Set course for the grocery store via Mount Denali. The Discovery almost demands it. To our eyes, the Land Rover Discovery S new looks are a significant departure from the old versions. Every angle has been smoothed over to better cheat the wind and improve fuel economy. It has a more contemporary shape, and it has a far friendlier look on the streets. Or, briefly, out with the box, in with the blend. That has good and bad, but we ll say it as good. We miss our boxy discos in the same way we miss a warming glow from old TVs, times change. Thankfully, inside is just as boxy as we'd hope with a mix of classy materials and high-tech screens in most places. We give it a 7 out of 10 for style. The Discovery S shape manages to hide its heft fairly well. In photos, that Discovery could be confused with the smaller, unrelated Discovery Sport. The Land Rover Discovery is much closer underneath to the Range Rover, in person, the impressive size of the SUV is apparent quickly. The corporate grill pronounces the Discovery S arrival, but it s quickly swept back into the fenders via headlights that have been pulled back. The grill is relatively smaller than the Disco S large chin, while lower opening and upright ducting. From the sides, we think the Discovery is somewhat anonymous. Not much beyond the rising window line and chunky pillars help distinguish the Discovery from some SUV on the road. The tail may be the biggest departure for brand loyalists. The Disco drops the mounted spare in the rear, but retains the same kickdown found in LR3 and LR4 models. Inside, the cabin is plusher, albeit more upright than the exterior would suggest. The horizontally themed dash is punctuated by a widescreen ratio touchscreen for infotainment and a similarly wide center console. The instrument cluster lacks any of the panache, it retains the same small LCD display with utilitarian, but outdated, look. Thanks to some clever window framing, a dual pane sunroof, fixed in standard models, and a deceptively low belt line, the Discovery S interior is bathed in natural light. 
It has doubly impressive and light-colored interiors that effectively turn the disco into a gymnasium between the doors. The Land Rover Discovery has refined its on-road behavior in ways that belie the SUV's prowess off-road. The standard gas V6 and optional turbozel V6 are both impressive. Same goes for its 8-speed automatic and ride, which is improved by an optional air suspension that we don't think should be optional at all it has bundled with the Discovery S third row and low-speed transfer case that make the Discovery a formidable off-roader. We give the Disco an 8 for performance. The Bass engine is a 3.0-liter turbocharged V6 that makes 340 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque. It has made it to a smooth 8-speed automatic that is effortless and smart, one of the better transmissions that we re-appreciating in every application. The gas engine makes good use of its power, and can propel the Discovery to 60 miles per hour in 7.7 .7 seconds, but outright speed isn't its forte. The gas engine makes most of its to work between 3,500 and 4,000 rpm unusually high for a turbocharged engine and needs more revs to lug the lumbering 4,900 pound SUV up boulders and trails. It tests just as capable as ever, but with a little more attention to the throttle than you might expect. The optional turbozel V6 makes its power much lower in the rev range. 1,750 revolutions per minute, runs up to 60 miles per hour faster, 6.9 seconds, sips less fuel, and is quieter than the gas version. We admit that some might hesitate opting for the diesel engine, which costs roughly $2,000 more, but we consider it to be a worthwhile investment. The diesel engine is mated to the same 8-speed automatic and powers all four wheels. We haven't yet driven a Discovery with a base suspension, which is a traditional coil spring setup. So far, our experiences have been with the air suspension that s bundled with the third row seats and off-roading gear. The air suspension douses fussy roads and adds adjustability to add 1.7 inches to the Disco S impressive 11 inches of ground clearance. The adjustable suspension also improves the Discovery S approach, departure, and brake over angles and its waiting depth, wheel articulation, you get the point. It is worth serious consideration. Note, opting for the base suspension considerably lowers the Discovery S ground clearance to 8.7 inches, which is roughly the same as a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Neither vehicle will be confused with a sedan anytime soon but it changes the Discovery S profile significantly. The Land Rover Discovery as, at first, an off-road machine. It has been smooth over literally and figuratively to be a comfortable family vehicle for most drivers like its predecessors. We give the Discovery a point above average for its good front seats, and comfortable back seats. It turns another for a spacious cargo area, and another for being a go-anywhere-with-anyone SUV. The Land Rover Discovery is remarkably capable and comfortable like its predecessors. We give it a 9 for comfort. Up front, the Land Rover Discovery is pulls apart from its lineal predecessor, that Discovery Series 2 from the late 1990s. The new Discovery is much softer and rounded with the plush dashboard accented with wood and deeply black plastic trims. The seats are all day comfortable with plenty of adjustability in base versions and even more in HSE luxury trim discovery models. The overall stance is much more upright than the outside appearance would indicate. Designers have cut down on the boxy stance of outgoing models, but you wouldn't really know from the inside. The second row seats on T sit higher than the front seats, unlike older generations. That lack of stadium seating can be disorienting for dull passengers in the back seats but a bright cabin makes up for the down-low seating position. Rear seat riders get 38 inches of rear leg room, according to the spec sheet, but it feels like more than that. The upright benches, which can recline in some models, work wonders for good posture. The third row is optional in the Discovery, but there is a catch. The Discovery S good off-roading bits require the third row, and we strongly suggest making good use of the Land Rover S legendary capability, which means that third row shouldn't be much of an option for most buyers. The Wayback will be cramped for adults, 
but adequate for children and preteens. With the third row in place, the cargo area shrinks to 9.1 cubic feet. With the third row folded, or not included at all, the cargo space swells to 45 cubes, or 82.7 cubes in max cargo capacity configuration with the second and third rows out of the way. That discovery boasts plenty of small cubbies and storage trays inside, including a refrigerated center console to keep drinks cold. A folding climate control panel opens to reveal a hidden compartment that would work to keep phones or wallets hidden from view, but it creates a smaller, awkward shelf underneath it that will likely be a magnet for lint and lost items as the discovery does its dirty work. Federal and independent testers Don T have a wall big enough to throw a Land Rover Discovery at, so we're not sure yet how it will act in a crash or if the wall would survive. Until we see more, we re withholding our official safety rating. The Land Rover Discovery comes with all the mandated safety gear, airbags, traction and stability control systems, active headrests, and rear view camera. Active safety equipment including adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitors, active lane control, and forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking are all optional extras, but reasonably priced. A surround view camera system is helpful and maneuvering the big SUV, adds a few hundred dollars to the bottom line, and we won't order a discovery without it. The 2018 Land Rover Discovery is available in three trim levels with two engine options and two drivetrains. You can order a Discovery without a low range transfer case, and you can order a scotch and water without the scotch. Are you getting all that you paid for? Gas powered versions are available in SE, HSE, and HSE Luxury trim, while diesel powered Discovery models are available in only HSE and HSE Luxury trim. All Discovery models are equipped with 19-inch wheels, power-adjustable front seats, dual paint-fixed sunroofs, leather seats, dual-zone climate control, two rows of seats, keyless ignition, a rear-view camera, and an 8.0-inch touchscreen for infotainment. That has good base equipment, a very good touchscreen, and the Discovery bundles a healthy set of optional equipment for an equally healthy price. We rate the Discovery S features at an 8 out of 10, with an important note, most of those good options are spider webbed with other prerequisite packages that the order sheet feels like a college upper division course catalog. Asking for a small upgrade can require thousands of dollars in additional extra. Stepping up to HSE models with the gasser diesel engine adds 20 inch wheels, LED headlights, power tailgate that can hold 660 pounds premium audio, navigation, and a 10-inch touchscreen for infotainment. Conquering mountains in HSE luxury discovery models are fine, fine ways to assert dominance over nature. In addition to the big wheels, the HSE luxury adds air suspension, a standard low-range transfer case, heated rear seats, three rows of seats, upgraded leather interior beds, three-zone climate control, power folding third row seats, and a 14-speaker audio system. We think options worth considering will be the third row seating package for SE and HSE models that not only adds the small third row, but also the air suspension, and low-range transfer case for roughly $2,000. An added capability plus package adds Land Rover S Terrain Response 2 off-road package with an active locking rear differential and selectable modes for sand, snow, rocks, fire, brimstone, the works. Additional packages include safety systems that we wish were standard, but are relatively reasonably priced. Blind spot monitors and traffic sign recognition add about $500 to the bottom line, provided you opt for a $1,000 vision package first, and adaptive cruise control with active lane control adds roughly $1,800 more. Rear seat entertainment packages are slick and mimic the main infotainment screen, but require swallowing a baseball size lump of a price tag, more than $2,200. A head-up display is almost $1,000, and frankly, it has not worth it. A slick tow assist feature helps loading and unloading by controlling the trailer via rotary knob on the center console. 
It's reasonably priced at $400, provided you have the right prerequisite features down. Frugality may not be in many Land Rover owners' vocabularies. Opting for a go anywhere, bring anything SUV asks for some kind of compromise. The 2018 Land Rover Discovery tries its best with a V6, returning 16 miles per gallon city, 21 highway, 18 combined. That test good enough for a 5 on our fuel efficiency scale and while it tests better than other slab-sided competitors, it is still thirsty. Opting for the Turbozil V6 helps but it adds roughly $2,000 to the bottom line, which may take several years to recoup at the pump. The Turbozil is rated at 21 26 23 of a mile per gallon. Among three-row family haulers, the Discovery is far less efficient than, say, a hybrid minivan. Among SUVs, the Discovery is very competitive most in its class average combined economy in the low 20s.